And welcome back guys, so we're going to go ahead and continue doing some side questing here inside of Freeside. Uh, hope everyone's enjoying the series, uh, the Fallout New Vegas series that we're playing here. Hope everyone's enjoying the gameplay. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. Subscribe, uh, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's go play some Fallout New Vegas. Hold up, what's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Yes, I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Was there something else you need? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we... You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the King, offering to coordinate the relief effort. The man was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Yes? Was there something else you needed?
Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. What's up? Why the hell are you? This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down.
I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor. Things have been a lot better since you helped. I got Rex here from a salvager. If you... He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. No, they said they don't have the... For now, but they said eventually he's gonna get worse. I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the... All right.
Are you the Van Graff's emissary? Do you have what we requested? I wasn't informed there was to be an exchange on my part. What are you talking about? But you would have something for me, now do you or not? Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. If you're looking for guns, talk... We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the atomic rank. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly... Come back. Playing debt collector for the guy. Take it. You're the one who's been... Can I help you? Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry, who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. No problem. What seems to be the problem?
We're pretty short-handed as... Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So... She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here, and you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what, you promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me. You can't help but notice that the
Why does everyone always... Nice! Can I order room service? Personal space meaning anything? So when we come back, I'm going to go ahead and travel over to Jacobstown, which takes forever from where we are right now. We're looking at a good 60 minute trip for me to get over there. So I uh, hope everyone's enjoying the series. Uh, next time you'll see us come back in video wise, we'll be sitting at the gates of Jacobstown and we'll be trying to fix Rexy here. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you again soon.